Now for more on International Women's Day, we're joined in studio by Martha Mowesi, Senior Program Coordinating Officer at Farmway. Welcome to Africa Live. Thank you. Now we see celebrations around the world, around International Women's Day. Yeah. Does Africa specifically have a lot to celebrate? Yeah, I would think so. Africa as a continent has, uh, has all the reason to celebrate from the International Women's Day, given the fact that a lot of achievement has been realized in as far as promotion and empowerment of women is concerned. Just to, make a, to mention a few, when we look at it in terms of uh, education, when we look at it from the perspective of uh, uh, women's participation in politics, women's participation in, a, uh, in a different forums on the continent and globally, there is all the reason to, to celebrate. Now, Martha, you've mentioned uh, particular achievements in the area of education, yeah. and there's been a lot of criticism and concern around curriculums that aren't based around girls and girls being able to learn. What achievements have been made in that area? What are the changes we've seen? Yeah, I would say it's true that challenges do exist, particular in, particular in relation to the education of the girls. But looking at it from the perspective of curriculum, I would think we'd look at it more from the, say, the vocational training, where the vocational institutions are mainly designated. They are male-dominated. But a lot has gone on. A number of organizations, Fawe being one of those of organizations, has worked with the ministries of education in the different African countries to ensure that the learning environment is conducive for the girls, to ensure that all those factors that bar girls from going to school or from completing their education are addressed. I wouldn't say all has been achieved, but there has been a stride, a step ahead into that direction. Now, one of the other areas of concern, of course, is girls marrying at a young age, preventing yeah. them from going to school. So what's been done with regard to promoting education and delaying marriage? Yeah, in relation to the issue of marriages, of course, you'll agree with me, it's one of the biggest challenges. Many girls drop out of school because of early marriages and early pregnancies. But looking at the different legislation that has taken place in the different African countries, for instance, gender-based violence, there are quite a number of... Uh, uh, a number of, uh, what do I say, a number of uh, uh, laws or policies that have been put in place that would protect the girls from early pregnancies and early marriages. Looking at the age of marriage, age of consent for the girls, of course the different countries may have different ages, but generally in Africa we are looking at 18, such that the, the regulations that are in place that deal with the culprits that would be responsible for having the girls get into early marriages or early pregnancies are dealt with. It has been an achievement. Of course, it still does happen, but even when one is into it, they know there are laws that will actually catch up with them. So we've seen the implementation of various laws targeting gender equality, um, as well as the achievements you've mentioned in that direction. What are some of the remaining, remaining rather, challenges that you face in order to get women on an equal footing? Yeah, the, the challenges that do exist, I want to say one, of course, when we are talking of education, a lot is being done, but there's a lot to be desired. Even when we are talking about the provisions in law, giving uh, opportunities for women to access a number of platforms, but the level of education does count. When we talk of women getting into leadership, it is true, there are opportunities, but how many women have been educated to that level? There's still, there's still a lot that can be done to help women get into, say, the positions or the political space that has been provided. So while we talk about the so many opportunities that are availed, it's important that we do look at educating women, giving them an opportunity. Not only access, as we talk now, access is good. What about the retention? What about the performance and the completion rates? We are looking at the completion rates. How many women? are able to start the education and complete it and then get the opportunity to get into the available space and the available opportunities. Martha, thank you very much for your time. We're speaking to Martha Mowesi. She is the uh, program, the senior program coordinating officer at Fawe.